So um, the only piece on this program that we are performing that has any relation at all to uh, Expo 74 is the Shostakovich Festive Overture, which was on that original program. And if you were at the Spokane Symphony concert a couple last week, um, you may have noticed that they played the same piece. And so that was on purpose. I, I checked what they were playing and, and uh, stole the same piece. But a lot of these students got the opportunity to be on stage with the Spokane Symphony and watch one of their rehearsals of this piece. And I think they were pretty blown away and pretty excited about it. So uh, we will start with Shostakovich.
Just a brief note about the next piece, um, Josh Trentadu's The Floodgates of the Sky. Um, we chose this piece strictly because the Colorado Springs Youth Symphony was um, working on this, and it was a perfect piece for us to collaborate on. And so when we went there, we played with them under the direction of their director, and we had a great time. But it just so happens that I've arranged for the weather to cooperate today. So when you're heading home, I think you'll appreciate the piece, or maybe not. Thank you. 
Okay, so uh, before we perform our last piece, uh, we would like to recognize our award winners. And so Erily Jordan is gonna come out. She is my fabulous aide and has helped me throughout two seasons um, with just virtually everything. So, is it more? I guess I'm getting forgetful. <laughs> By the way, I just wanted to say that um, I loved the medley that Dr. Marshall put together of all those pieces. And I can clearly remember living in South Dakota and my parents went to Rapid City. We were living in Yankton a couple hours away. And I asked them to bring me back the 45 of Kung Fu fighting. <laughs> and I wore that thing into the ground. Okay, anyway, so uh, it's been a while. Um, all right, so we'll try and make this go as quickly as we can. Um, as, as you've heard from the other three orchestras, the students vote on two of these awards. So the most improved award goes to Sam Wisner. And you just heard him doing the horn solos in that um, Floodgates of the Sky. Our leadership award goes to Amanda Wynn. Thank you. The conductor's award, this is the one I choose, um, goes to someone who's very special uh, to us. Uh, this person has been a soloist, winner of our concerto competition but has also set the, the standard of fantastic woodwind playing, and this award goes to Jacob Campbell. So we have one more award that, that um, the other groups don't have, and this is the Angela Armstrong Inspirational Award. Um, so I'm going to read just a quick quote. Friends who knew Angela insist that like her, the winner should be someone with complete dedication to the youth symphony, a willingness to listen and to accept criticism regardless of ability, a quiet and gentle sense of humor, and um, an eagerness to share in the joy of other successes, but yet to give encouragement during the low periods with a sincere appreciation in the feelings of fellow members. And there are a whole list of stipulations that this person has to fulfill, um, and I won't read all of those. But this comes with a monetary award as well, and so I would like to make this award to Sarah Lines. Congratulations. Okay, since um, we are stuck here in Spokane and none of us are traveling to Italy, at least today, we're bringing Italy to you.